Welcome to another video. Welcome to uh, my channel. This is a photograph of today's painting. And uh, before we go ahead and start the video and paint this together, just want to mention a few points. Uh, if you work with uh, oil and you like to follow these tutorials, you could still do it. If you like the composition, you like the design, just modify the techniques and uh, you could paint along with me. And also, if you don't have any of the colors that is listed on the screen or any brushes that you see me using, it doesn't really matter. You use what you have and what you're comfortable with. Also, I want to ask you if you have any suggestion for the channel, if you want me to paint anything or if you want me to make a tutorial on any subject matter or any element, uh, like, like a waterfall, rocks, stuff like that, let me know in the comment section. I'll be glad to do it. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, paint this together. All right, welcome back. And as you see, we have a sketch of a campfire scene. We have uh, our camping element over here and we have a waterfall and a few trees. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the sky first. We're gonna have a misty background. Um, not gonna see much of those trees back there. And maybe we can create some contrast here. And then we will see. So I'm gonna pick up some um, light blue. You could use ultramarine blue and white or you could use cerulean blue whatever you have and I'm gonna add some white onto my palette and I'm gonna come here and just blend it with that blue over there And the reason I'm painting around the sketch is because I don't want to lose the sketch A, B. This area is going to be covered by trees, so I don't want to really spend time on creating a soft blend over here. We don't need to. And maybe a bit more blue here. Alright, so that would be the extent of our sky, it's very soft, very, very light, maybe a little more here, just for a good coverage. I'm gonna get some blue, maybe some purple, and a little white. Make some distancey looking color for these trees over here. I'm gonna apply some trees here. We're gonna get darker as we move forward. Now I'm gonna get some black, some of that navy bluish color, make a darker mix. And I'm gonna come here and create uh, a darker tree. And 
maybe the corner of my brush I'm just gonna tap here on the top very lightly on the top of the tree I don't want to create a lot of branches and leaves on the top and as we move down we get a bit more blues Drop two more. And up here as well. A little darker. pick up some gray mixing with my uh, navy blue and with the same pan brush I'm gonna come here with the corner of brush indicate few distancy looking bushes and stuff like that now I'm gonna use a little more white into this mix make even lighter color and come here and just lighten it up clean my brush pick up some of that blue lighter blue and come here and just extend these trees a bit maybe a bit lighter even even some lighter color almost almost blue almost close to the blue sky color just like that I'm gonna pick up my blender brush some white and I'm gonna come here and just blend these things into the the background that I have over there and create some misty look into the whole area but this has to be dark those are in the distance this is closer to us come here and just soften these trees and bushes you know give them some distancey look I'm gonna pick up some of my darker blue and I'm gonna come here and just drop the, the dark for the waterfall that we're gonna have here this will serve as um, you could call underpainting for the waterfall and I just want this edge of the waterfall to be level just gonna take my time with it bring it here yep. and a little of the river back there we're not gonna see much of the actual stream and it's going to fade into the background now most of this area is going to be like misty foggy type of thing so while I have that paint I'm going to come over here just create some just putting some paint in here really something to work with so just dropping then we have another big tree over here so just dropping this color over here so 
So I'm going to pick up uh, some green, sap green, light green, and some of that blue over there. And we're going to come. We're going to come here and create some. Um, land and uh, some vegetation, just grassy area and yeah, some of that blue happy with that for now I'm gonna pick up some blue some lighter blue some navy blue some some of my sky blue and some white I'm gonna put it on my palette I'm gonna go ahead and work on the waterfall and for the waterfall we're basically gonna we come here and just pull down I don't want to kill all the dark but if it happens doesn't matter we have the dark we can go back and work that dark into the waterfall I'm gonna switch that brush I'm gonna switch to a round, round brush I'm more comfortable with this gonna come here and just Create some impression of the water. Dropping from this waterfall. And maybe some of that bluish color for the actual stream. not going to see much of this stream just bring it a bit higher so right now I'm working with the uh, almost white of the tube and sometimes I add some blue to it now I'm gonna come over here and just do that maybe there is another rock over there and Go ahead and highlight it. I'm gonna go ahead, tap, tap, tap. For people who work with oil at this stage, you probably were just gonna use white because that blue is sweat and it would mix in, and the blending happens automatically. If I don't bring blue into it, the whole thing is going to be white. So I have to manually try to blend some of this color with some lighter blue to create more natural look. And I'm going to continue this process until I can form a believable waterfall. go ahead and apply some of that color over here some of that white some of my white some of my blue and then use the blender brush just go ahead and create some misty look at the bottom of the waterfall this is going to be done in many stages That was just stage one or step one. You know, I'm gonna let that dry and we're gonna go over it again, back to waterfall. Because uh, with acrylic, if you go back to it, you're gonna be, you're gonna lift up the paint. So 
so you have to do dry and then you go back to it continuing to work on the waterfall just tapping sometimes I'm working with blue sometimes I'm working with white this is something that you have to practice and know for yourself you know what to do but that's the basic technique I use now this is the best way to create waterfall maybe not I don't know you could use um, a fan brush and just go ahead and pull to pick up some white and just you know pull like that before anybody comment on the channel that hey it's easier to do that let me just mention it myself yes you could use a fan brush to do that but you know I like this technique better and uh, I have more control like this That is dry, we can go ahead for round two of creating mist. I'm gonna pick up some paint, some white. And this whole area is gonna be misty soon. that dry I'm gonna work with it later all right I'm gonna pick up a flat brush enough rant about the waterfall and pick up some of that white some of that blue and we're gonna come here and just indicate some indication of water just for the time being just to indicate just to have something to look at some white into the mix and just come here and apply some white a little bit more white and we get some lighter value over there blended into the into the waterfall pick up some of that white with the and the brush and just come over here and tap just tapping you know especially under the waterfall and create some illusion of mist water splashing maybe water splashing like over here maybe water splashing here creating mist and the water starts to appear over here 
Maybe some more whites here. And just soften it. Something like that. I'm gonna keep it for now. All right, we're gonna pick up a half inch bristle brush. I'm gonna pick up some black. Let's put it here. I'm going to pick up some raw umber. And we're going to go ahead and uh, create a tree here. And maybe some, maybe one or two trees over there. Just to, you know, balance this area. And I'm probably going to come up here and start from here maybe. Yes, it's going to cover that tree. Sorry. Sorry tree. Gotta go. I want to go higher. Some more of that mix. Now I'm going to pick up some of that raw umber, mix that in with some white, maybe a little more white, and go ahead give this tree a tree trunk. Every tree deserves a tree trunk, maybe this one deserves two. This one as well. Maybe a couple of branches. I'm gonna go ahead pick up some some of that umber, mix it with some white, and create a mid tone for this tree and we're going to come up here with a round brush create some highlights or uh, mid-tone rather but it would be highlight because that's too dark but once we apply the final highlight this becomes a mid-tone
So I'm going to go ahead and apply the same idea for that tree, exact same thing, and I bring you back. Right, with the same brush, we're going to pick up some red, we're going to pick up some orange, and we're going to mix very loosely. I don't want to create a third color by mixing them. I want to have a little red, a little orange, a little in between to show. And we're going to come over here and we apply some highlight. So you could create your highlight. I'm going to start from anywhere. I'm going to start from here. I'm going to say the light is coming this way. So um, I'm going to come here and create a few highlights. Now you're going to see me going back to my brown. Raw umber, and the reason for that is manual blending or mixing because that is also already dried. So, I need a variety of colors here. So, I'm gonna go back and forth between that umber, the orange, the red. darker for these areas that doesn't get a lot of light and smoosh them a little bit now we're gonna paint our couple of other trees over here so I'm not gonna be too um, careful with highlights over here because we may have to go back and fix that but I'm just gonna go ahead tap of highlights here and there Now I'm going to come here and finish this area. I'm going to extend some same idea like here, back here, but less details because we're going to have a tree over here and probably it's going to be covered. And But I'm going to pick up some of that blue, it's maybe some dark, some black. I'm going to come here and create some some extension, impression of extension of this land over there. I'm going to pick up some of that green and apply over here. Just fix that area a bit. I probably should have done this before I painted the tree, but I wasn't sure what I was going to do. But that doesn't matter. I can, I can highlight this area. No big deal. I'm just going to go ahead and apply this, this color over here. I'm just blocking the area. As I said, uh, I probably should have done this before I painted the trees. If you try this at home, you can you know, learn from my mistake. Just go ahead and extend the whole thing. So while that dries, I'm going to pick up my fan brush. I'm going to pick up some of that dark black and ultramarine blue. And I'm going to come here, extend those, some of those trees here. And maybe add some gray in here. Create some grayish, bluish. And create some trees. Really was a bad idea painting this tree first. And I'm gonna come here. 
I apply a few more. looking one just create impression of some movement back there I'm gonna switch my brush to a liner and I'm gonna go ahead and indicate few indication of leaves and stuff like that for this bush pick up lighter green apply some highlights and back to my darker green back and forth paint these bushes until that dries and we can work on that just a tiny amount of highlights all right this area is dry now we're going to go ahead and extend that mist behind the tree to this area so we can indicate that there is a separation for this area and that elevation over there so I'm just going to use some white and some of that technique apply some over here at the bottom of those trees some illusion of mist some here as well I'm going to pick up some of my red, some of my orange and we're going to come here with a different brush apply some highlights to this tree and just do some finishes, finishing touches the areas that we destroyed It's a good looking tree. I don't know what you think, but all right. And this area is okay. Now we can move 
to the foreground and the main focal point of the painting hopefully all right we're gonna move on to painting the, the camping element of the painting I have some raw sienna some yellow I will work on the tent I have a filbert brush it doesn't matter whatever brush that you're comfortable with to work with I'm just gonna put the underpainting for for the tent and I'm gonna come here bring it up So I might actually go ahead and use some umber for this uh, for this area, maybe like a shadow shadow area, a little darker value. Maybe that's too dark. Maybe lighten up a little bit. Yeah. some of that color I'm gonna pick up some of that yellow and just come here in motion like that just create some extra details in this tent And continuing that umber, applying some shadows here and there. And with my lighter color, just go ahead with the yellow and sienna. Just go ahead and apply some highlights, probably from the campfire that we're gonna paint later on probably getting some light very simple I'm gonna pick up some white some of that sienna and we're gonna come here apply some highlights for up here soften some of it and probably a little bit more here just a few areas here we go and go ahead and soften it Another one 
here. right here with some burnt umber and added some white I'm gonna make a lighter color and I'm gonna come here and apply some highlights some highlights tapping really and to this post maybe this area as well something like that all right, so we're gonna go ahead, pick up some black. Against the darker. Here we go. Stickly, of course. And some of that black indicates some darker area here. And we're gonna go ahead and up a little bit more of that blue a little more a little white create a lighter mix for maybe some highlight around here where we have the the campfire hitting him an indication someone sitting here with our filbert brush and some black and brown we're going to go ahead indicate a rock over here that he's actually sitting on some of our sienna some of that umber and white and go ahead apply some highlights to the rock Very impressionistically, of course. And I'm 
gonna go ahead use the same black and brown and create some land in here I'm gonna use some green to indicate some grass as well maybe some rocks in here some rocky shore area and of course I'm gonna highlight them very impressionistically with some sienna some of that lighter umber just like that So we're going to go ahead pick up some white, some yellow, and some red. I'm going to use my small round brush, I mean liner brush. I'm going to work on the campfire and apply some white in here. some black for the, the logs that are burning yeah probably some magenta dark red around the fire some of that yellow and some of that reddish orange maybe get some that some of that yellow mixed in with that red create some soft orangey color and Just apply Just like that, create some that's a, that's a big fire for this gentleman He's gonna be happy With the fire that we Created for him fire of course deserves some smoke so for that I'm gonna pick up some some white touch of black create a gray and come here and just go ahead and create some smoke Maybe a little bit white. All right, so I'm going to switch my brush. We're gonna get some of that sienna, some of that umber, and go ahead and create some impression of rocks over here, just like so, very impressionistically. We're gonna apply some some of that color on this darker background, darker underpainting, and immediately we can create some 
impression of rocks now when I drop in some grass around here it will start making more sense maybe some rocks here yeah, a little bit rocky here so uh, I'm gonna do this area the, the foreground and for this area let me just roll the camera and show you this is go this going to be an exact carbon copy of this area and uh, so it's, I'm just going to show you what I do over here if you decide to paint this uh, scene at home same idea just apply same idea over there I'm going to highlight these rocks a bit very impressionistically and then I'm going to bring in some some of that green and we're going to go ahead and drop some green in between them and maybe even some white for this area maybe these rocks getting some of that light this one this one also all right so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some sap green I'm gonna put it here and I apologize for the dirty palette and we're gonna come here just extend that grassy area maybe some black mix with that green and just some shadow color for that green as well somewhere around here maybe a bit lighter some highlights for these rocks I highlighted these rocks once but acrylic draws a bit darker and flat so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some some more highlights one more time some smaller rocks here and there Let's just go ahead and try this color and get some of that blue as well. And maybe turquoise and some blue for the bottom. Inside we're not going to see much so I'm going to pick up some black and some of that blue. I'm going to apply some dark. And that's this guy's little boat. Get some black, fix some of this area. All right, I'm gonna pick up a fan brush and some green, sap green. And we're going to go ahead and apply the same idea as I mentioned over here. I'm going to show you guys a, a little bit, but it's technically same thing, same, same landscape, same idea. And we're going to 
paint some same rocks over here. This exact carbon copy. No need to spend another 10-15 minutes. You know, make the video too long. No one logs, you know, long videos. So applying some some bushes like there. Maybe some back there. And we're gonna do and we're gonna do some rocks over here. Maybe a big one right here. Get some of that. Sienna apply some highlights maybe another one here another one here just like so going to do some grass in between them very impressionistically now when you paint at home you have more time you know you don't have to race against time just take your time with them but same idea I'm gonna complete this area like so and I bring you back Alright, so I went ahead and dropped a few rocks, That's same idea over here. You're going to go ahead, paint a big tree over here, um, just balance this painting a bit, we have a big tree over here, and um, continue with the water and hopefully we can call this long painting done. I'm going to pick up some black and some raw umber. And I have a flat brush, I mean a fitbit brush, I believe this is number 8. And I'm gonna go ahead and paint this tree. Now I wanna have, we're gonna come from here, I wanna have a big branch over here. I wanna have something like that over there. And maybe another one going this way. And that's going to be our tree trunk. And we're going to drop some leaves. We're going to make it fall looking tree. So we're going to use some red, some, some yellow. So it would work with the, the other trees over there. Now I'm going to pick up some of that umber. I'm going to mix it with some white. Create a lighter color and I'm going to come here apply some highlight to this side of the tree. A bit more. Now some of these areas that we are highlighting is going to be covered by leaves but I'm just going to do it in case it will show. And 
apply some highlight to this side of the tree trunk. I'm going to pick up my uh, round brush or mop brush. I'm going to pick up some of that green that we had. And I'm just going to come over here and just tap, probably create some impression of some moss growing on this tree. Just like that. So it's just a suggestion. And I'm going to go ahead, bring some lighter yellow, um, green, just to separate these two areas. There's some impression of moss. The river, I mean, the river is just nearby, a lot of moisture, and maybe some moss has grown on the tree. Have a li liner brush, some black, some umber, and a bit of water, just make it a bit runny. And we're gonna come here and apply some smaller branches to this tree, maybe one over here, maybe one over there, just randomly applying some smaller branches maybe one over here and how many how many more are we going to see something like that maybe one here all right so that's done I'm going to pick up my uh, round brush and we're going to go ahead get some yellow some orange now some of the leaves could still be green I mean uh, it happens they haven't gone yellow yet so we're gonna bring in some green as well and we're gonna go ahead and kind of randomly, you know, paint some leaves over here. We're gonna come over here. And just putting some color down. Some red, some more green. And of course some red. And 
maybe some maybe some up here Maybe up here. And the colors, the red works with the with these trees, you know, some color harmony. All right, I have a filbert brush and a mop brush. A blender brush whatever you're gonna call it I'm gonna go ahead go ahead and um, work on the actual river and for that we're gonna reflect the sky into it and of course the surrounding so I'm gonna pick up some of the blue and I'm gonna go ahead and work it in here And while that's um, wet, I'm gonna go ahead, pick up some of that green, and just pull like that. And maybe some of that orangey color as well. And back to our blue. And just go ahead and blend it into the blend it into the river. Some green and same idea over here, some green, some black reflection of Maybe the tree. In this area. I'm gonna clean my brush. Pick up that blue. Some of my sky blue. Just go ahead and blend it. So we have some green in the water, an indication of the trees and the grass and stuff like that. And same idea for this side. And blend it just like that. Now I'm gonna pick up some white and a liner brush and I'm gonna go ahead and indicate a few water lines here and there maybe some over here in the, in the back Here. 
Cross indication of some water lines here and there. Again, when you do your version at home, you know you can spend more time on it. Here we go. And maybe some white and you know come over here and some final highlights for that waterfall maybe. Especially on the edge of the waterfall. Alright, I, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it complete. Even though I really can, you know, spend a little bit more time on this painting. I hope you enjoyed this uh, painting and I hope uh, you try it at home. And uh, if you made it this far to the video, thank you very much. And uh, don't forget to like and share the videos if you'd like to support the channel. Um, wish you happy painting, all the best, take care of yourself, and uh, see you soon with another painting.